And good morning, everybody. It's Pastor Randy here. Hey, we're doing another Saved and Uncensored podcast, and I'm glad that you guys are here. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, so uh, my name is Pastor Randy. Um, you know, I pastor, um, you know, a, a ministry called Tactical Bible Guy and uh, and and uh, uh, Saved and Uncensored. <laughs> So I'm glad that, that you guys are joining us today, whether you're tuning in on Facebook or YouTube or catching us on your favorite podcasting platforms, man. You know, it's always a pleasure to have you guys with us and diving into discussions that matter and exploring our faith in today's world. So today we're diving into a topic that sparks quite a bit of conversation this time of year, uh, Halloween and its stark contrast to Reformation Day. Right. So I'm calling this uh, a call to celebrate truth, embracing Reformation Day over Halloween. Right. So and, and, it, and it is important that we do that, guys, because there's a lot of historical truths about Reformation. It's basically where we got our modern day Christianity and the truths of the doctrines of grace and the five solas. Right. Now, you guys may not agree with that because of the culture that you guys uh, are in. And that's fine. You don't have to agree. But this, you know, Reformation Day is better to celebrate. Celebrating Reformation Day is better than celebrating Halloween, right? So um, let's just pray real quick, man. You know, Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. Thank you for this opportunity to gather, you know, virtually, you know, as a community united in faith. As we dive into today's discussion, you know, we ask for your guidance and wisdom you unite in in faith lord and uh, so as we dive in today's discussion we ask for your guidance and wisdom illuminate our hearts and minds with your truth helping us to discern what is right and pleasing in your sight lord as we explore the origins and implications of the celebrations around us grant us the clarity to understand the choices that we make and their impact uh uh on our walk with you, you know, help us stand firm in our convictions, always seeking to reflect your light in a world that often embraces darkness. And may our conversations be filled with grace, understanding, and a desire to honor you in all we do. We lift up those who are struggling or feeling lost during the season. You know, may they find comfort in your presence and hope in your promises. Let this time together strengthen our faith and encourage us to shine brightly for you in every aspect of our lives. Lord, we put on the full armor of God, which it says in Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Lord, we ask that you rebuild those hedges of protection, those shields around us today, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you continue to do a mighty work in us. Um, you know, send your legion of angels down to fight for us and fight with us as we pick up the weapons of warfare. Lord, and we just ask God that you just uh, protect us today. You know, give us traveling mercies as we go about our day and, and let us be ambassadors, focus on you, and your truth in Jesus name, Lord, and get this lowly preacher out of the way and let your word go forward in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. 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 So as we approach today, the end of October, you can feel the buzz in the air, man. You know, stores are filled with costumes, candy and all things spooky. Uh, and, it, and it seems like the Halloween, the Halloween celebrations are everywhere. And they are, man, we see you know, seven and eight uh, foot tall skeletons and people decorating, you know, their homes uh, uh, decked out with with ghosts, goblins and all sorts of eerie decorations. Right. And it's hard to escape the allure of ha Halloween, isn't it? I mean, with candy and and all this stuff. Right. Even if you're not a fan of the holiday, uh, you can't help but notice how it takes over the our, our american culture it's just another day right uh you know i was driving through the neighborhood and it hit me right nearly every house had some sort of halloween display you know from inflatable monsters to elaborate haunted houses uh and the excitement is palatable you know it it, it got me thinking about how deeply embedded this set the celebration is has become in our society but here's the kicker while we embrace Halloween, uh, you know, as just fun, harmless celebration, right? We Christians need to consider what it truly represents, right? The origins of Halloween are steeped in pagan traditions, celebrating darkness and the supernatural. 
uh, for us as believers, you know, it's essential for us to, to, uh, you know, evaluate, uh, our, you know, uh, what we're participating in, in the messages that we're sending, you know, uh, especially to our kids. Right. So that this leads us to another significant day in October. And I, especially, you know, uh, it's, and it's called the Reformation Day. It's celebrated on October 31st. Now, the Reformation Day marks an anniversary where Martin Luther nailing his 95 pieces to the uh, church door in 1517, igniting a movement that emphasized salvation by grace through faith and the authority of, uh, of Scripture. So why don't we just shift uh, our focus from Halloween to Reformation Day, right? It's not just about, you know, avoiding the spooky decorations and candy. It's about celebrating truth, freedom in light of the gospel. Reformation Day serves as a reminder of the importance of God's word in our lives and the incredible impact that the Reformation that uh, of the Reformation on our faith. It's a day to reflect on the courage of those who stood uh, for biblical truth and rejoice uh, in grace, uh, you know, we, what we are, what we're receiving through Christ. So in today's episode, we're exploring why Christians should avoid, uh, the association that comes with Halloween and instead embrace the significance of Reformation Day, right? You will discuss the implication of celebrating darkness versus celebrating light and how our choices and celebrations reflect our values as followers of Christ. And, you know, and I, and I, ho I hope you'll join me in this journey as we navigate these important topics uh, and uncovering why choosing to honor Reformation Day can lead us to a deeper understanding of our faith. Amen. So grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable. Let's dive in together. You know, whether you're, you're a longtime listener or you're new to the podcast and the video cast, right? I pray that today's conversation will challenge you encourage you and inspire you to stand firm in your faith especially when we navigate the cultural tribes surrounding halloween and reformation day so let's get this started to truly understand halloween we need to take a trip back to uh in time to its roots right halloween as we know it today has its origin in the ancient celtic festival of samhain which was celebrated around November 1st. You know, this festival marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter, a time when the veil between the living and the dead was believed to be at its thinnest. The Celts believed that on October 31st, the ghosts who, you know, of the deceased would return to earth and they would celebrate with bonfires and feasting to ward off uh, uh, spirits. Um, you know, they, they'd even wear costumes made of animal heads and skins to disguise themselves, hoping to confuse the spirits and avoid being harmed. As centuries passed, uh, you know, this pagan celebration began to blend in with other traditions. When Christianity spread through the Celtic religions, many of the old pagan practices were adopted rather than completely abolished. Uh, and this led to a cultural shift where Samhain morphed into a holiday and started to celebrate not just the end of the harvest, but also themes of death and the supernatural. Over time, October 31st has become known as Hollow, All Hallows Eve, right? A night, uh, uh, the night before All Saints Day, right? A day dedicated to honoring the saints and martyrs. But, you know, the, uh, you know, Rampants of, of the original Samhain festival persisted, right? Infusing Halloween with the spirit of darkness and fear and, and that, that we, that, it, that we see reflected in many modern practices. Now let's talk about the spiritual implications of Halloween. Ephesians 5 11 tells us, take no part in unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. So this verse is a powerful reminder for us as Christians about the importance of choosing what we engage with, right? Halloween in many ways promotes a fascination with the occult, glorifying themes that are contrary to the teachings of Christ. You know, the decorations, the costumes, the activities often center around ghosts, witches, and horror. Uh, which can draw us into the mindset to trivialize the very spiritual battles that we face. Now think about it. 
right? Celebrating Halloween means inviting a culture of fear into our lives where darkness is glamorized. You know, whether it, it, it's through haunted, haunted houses, horror films, or the constant imagery of death and the supernatural, you know, these elements can desensitize us to the seriousness of evil. You know, as believers, we are called to be the light in the dark, in a dark world. Instead of participating in festivities that embrace fear and death, we should be exposing uh, those things for what they are and choosing to celebrate life, truth, and hope. The cultural celebration of Halloween often leads Christians to grapple with their own beliefs and practices. You know, it raises the question of how we can reconcile our faith with a holiday that celebrates the very things it warns us against uh, scripture. You know, it's easy to dismiss Halloween as, you know, just a fun event for the kids, but consider the deeper implications and how it aligns with, with our faith. You know, are we inadvertently uh, endorsing the glorification of the supernatural and the cult? You know, are we taking us or are we taking a stand against what is right and true? You know, in short, while Halloween might seem, you know, to be a, a lighthearted celebration for some, its root in pagan traditions and associations with the darkness presents a challenge for Christians. Are we called to reflect the origins of the celebrations that we partake in and make choices that align with our values as followers of Christ? You know, rather than participating in a festival steeped in fear and death and the occult, let's choose to celebrate life, truth, and light of the gospel. You know, qualities that reflect the heart of God and the message of hope that we are called to share with the world. You know, October 31st, 1517 is a date that forever changed the course of Christian history. Um, you know, on that faithful day, and a, a man named, uh, a monk named Martin Luther boldly nailed the night, a night, his 95 theses to the door of the castle church in Wittenberg, Germany. So this act was, wasn't just a protest. It was a declaration that reverberated through Europe and beyond igniting the Protestant Reformation. Luther's thesis uh, addressed the rampant corruption within the Roman Catholic Church, particularly in the cells of indulgences, which promised, you know, forgiveness of sin and in exchange for money, right? Luther believed that this practice distorted the core message of the gospel which emphasizes growth in faith rather than financial transactions. You know, his challenge to the status quo opened the floodgates for, for discussion and debate about what, truly, what it truly means to be a follower of Christ and how salvation is attained. So the Reformation wasn't just about nailing the 95 Thesis to the door. It was a return to the essentials of the Christian faith. Right. It's 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 at, at, at its heart, the Reformation focused on three uh, uh, pivotal concepts, scripture alone, grace alone and faith alone. It emphasizes the centrality of Christ and salvation uh, and the authority of the Bible over church traditions, teachings and rituals. Right. Uh, this shift allowed people uh, allowed ordinary people uh, to access scripture for themselves. Right. Encouraging them to engage directly with God's word rather than relying solely, you know, on interpretations from the clergy. Uh, it, it, it empowered believers to recognize that they could have a personal relationship with God, uh, not one not mediated by the church hierarchy. Right. This was revolutionary for this time, guys. Right. So now let's dive into the spiritual importance of this day. Second Timothy 316 verses. 16 and 17 reminds us that all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, reproof, correction, and the training for righteousness, right? These verses highlight the critical role the scripture plays in our lives as followers of Christ. The Reformation was a clarion call to return to biblical truth, emphasizing that the Bible is our ultimate authority and, you know, in, in faith and practice. You know, in a world that's filled with shifting values and competing ideologies, we need this solid foundation more than ever. So celebrating, you know, Reformation Day 
it, it's, it, you know, it's not about remembering just historical events. It's about recognizing the enduring significance of scripture in our lives, right? When we reflect on the Reformation, we are reminded of the courage that it took to stand up for truth, just as Luther did, you know, his willingness to confront powers, uh, the powers of his time encourages us to question the cultural norms um, and, and that don't align with the gospel. You know, uh, we live in a society that that often blurs the lines between truth and opinion. And as Christians, we must remain committed to the teachings of Scripture. Also, the Reformation serves as a reminder that our faith is rooted uh, in grace. Right. It isn't about our works or efforts. It's, it's about what Christ accomplished on the cross. When we celebrate Reformation Day, we celebrate our identity as recipients of God's grace, right? Acknowledging that we can approach him with confidence, knowing that our salvation is secure, is secure uh, in Christ alone. Reformation Day is a powerful opportunity to reflect on its historical and spiritual significance of the Reformation. It invites us to embrace the truths of scripture, the grace of God, and the centrality of Christ in our lives, right? As, as we commemorate this day, you know, let us commit ourselves anew to living out these principles in a world that desperately needs the light of the gospel. Let's celebrate the freedom that we have in Christ and the responsibility to carry and share the truths of the gospel with others. So Reformation Day holds an immense historical and spiritual significance, particularly Christians who value the core tenets of faith. You know, so on, on October 31st was a pivotal moment that occurred that would change the course of Christianity forever. Martin Luther famously nailed his 95 theses to the, uh, the, to the door of the castle church of Wittenberg, Germany. So this bold act was not merely, you know, a protest, a, 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 a protest against the church practices, uh, but particularly the cells of indulgence that ignited the Protestant Reformation, a moment that emphasized returning to the heart of biblical teachings. Um, and so this challenged the Roman Catholic Church, right? Um, give me one sec. I think I, uh, you know, you know, It shifted the focus back to scripture as the ultimate authority is the matter of faith and practice, right? Luther's assertion that believers are justified by grace alone uh, or justified by grace through faith in Christ alone was revolutionary at the time. The foundational truth that reminded the church that salvation is a gift, you know, not not something that we earn through our good deeds or or, or, you know, the, the buying indulgences, you know, the impact of the movement rippled across Europe, right? Leading to the establishment of various Protestant de uh, uh, denominations and renewed the emphasis on the centrality of Christ in believers' lives. Spiritually, Reformation Day serves as a vital reminder of the importance of scripture in our daily lives. Um, you know, so celebrating Reformation Day is more about you know, remembering historical, not is, 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 is about more than just remembering historical events. It's an opportunity to reflect on the ongoing importance to, to returning to biblical truths in our lives today in a world that's filled with distraction and shifting norms, right? Uh, we must continually ground ourselves in the timeless principle that's founded in God's word. Refer that reformation challenges believers to dig deeper into scripture and to question, um, to question the traditions that stray, uh, that stray uh, from biblical teachings and to embrace the gospel message in its purest form. As Christians, it's critical for us to recognize uh, the impact of the Reformation in our faith, right? The freedom that we have to study the Bible in our own languages and interpret the teachings is a gift that many before us have fought hard to secure, right? This freedom is not, it not only allows us to, to grow uh, in our relationships with Christ, but it also empowers us to share his message with others. Celebrating Reformation Day is an acknowledgement of the sacrifices made by those like Martin Luther, John Calvin, uh, uh, William Tyndale, John Knox, Ulrich Zwingli, uh, you know, all these guys, right? Um,
you know, so Reformation Day really serves as a reminder that our faith is not stagnant. It's dynamic and requires constant engagement of God's word. You know, as we celebrate today, let's let's commit to diving deeper into scripture, you know, allowing it to transform our beliefs and guides our actions. And in doing so, we honor the legacy of the Reformation, affirm that our dedication to living out our faith authentically and boldly. So Reformation Day is a is not as it's a celebration of historical uh, uh, significance. And, 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 you know, so the Reformation Day is both uh, a celebration of both historical significance and spiritual importance. It marks a mo moment in Christian history that refocused our attention on scripture, grace, and the centrality of Christ. As we observe this day, let, let's remember to cherish and uphold biblical truths that define our faith, right? Ensuring, you know, that we remain rooted in God's word. And as a, we navigate our lives in a world that often strays from it, embracing this opportunity, not only to reflect on the past, but to recommit the principles in our day and, you know, and guide us and guide us every day and today. When we look at Halloween and the Reformation Day side by side, the, the contrast couldn't be more pronounced, right? Halloween embodies the themes of darkness and fear, while the Reformation Day uh, shines a light on the hope and truth of the gospel. John 115 tells us the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. This is the powerful first that captures the essence of both days, Halloween with its ghost schools and spooky things, right, uh, is a celebration that leads heavily into fear in the supernatural. People often dress in costumes that represent dark themes, right, uh, uh, from witches to monsters. And, and overall, the five can be very heavy and have an eerie uh, sense of dread, right? The cultural fascination with horror movies and haunted attractions only amplifies this atmosphere. Right, creating a season where fear is not just accepted, but it's celebrated. On the flip side, Reformation Day um, is a joyous occasion uh, that celebrates the uh, it, it celebrates the light of the gospel. This day, it's a day that commemorates the bravery of Martin Luther and and it, and others who stood against the spiritual darkness to proclaim the the truth of the Scripture. Instead of, you know. Uh, 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 reveling in fear, right? This day encourages us to embrace the hope that comes from knowing Christ, right? It reminds us that uh, the darkness of sin and death has been overcome by Jesus' victory on the cross, right? You know, as believers, that we are called to live in the light, that light reflecting, or, you know, reflecting God's love and truth in everything that we do. It's a stark reminder that, you know, we are not that we are not to dwell in the fear and darkness that Halloween represents, but rather shine the light brightly as lights in the dark world and sharing the gospel. So when we consider the implications of Halloween and Reformation Day, we find another significant contrast. You know, the celebration of truth versus the celebration of fear. In Psalms 119, 105 reminds us, the word is the lamp to my feet and a light to my path. This verse emphasizes the importance of scripture in guiding our lives and illuminating our way. Reformation Day is, you know, all about returning to, to, to the truths of God's word, right? Which teaches us about grace, faith, and salvation, right? It encourages us, you know, to dive deep into scripture, allowing it to shape our beliefs and our thought and guide us in our actions. You know, celebrating this day means that we are committing to uphold the truths of Martin Luther and others who fought for it, you know, standing firm in the light of God's promises. In contrast, you know, Halloween spins uh, a narratives filled with fear and uncertainty. You know, the spooky stories, the haunted houses, the imagery surrounding Halloween creates an environment where darkness is not only acknowledged, but embraced. For many, it comes, it becomes a time to indulge uh, in fear-based entertainment, you know, uh, which which can desensitize us 
to the real spiritual battles that we face, right? And as Christians, we are called to expose the darkness rather than celebrate it. Instead of engaging in festivities that glorify fear, we should be focused on the truth of found in scripture, which provides us a solid foundation and a call uh, uh, and, and, and a, a assurance in Christ. So as, as we navigate this, uh, this season, it's essential for, to us, uh, to ask ourselves, what messages are we sending through our celebrations, right? Are we, are we, are we contributing to the culture that glorifies fear and darkness, or are we celebrating the light and hope that's found, uh, from our faith? Reformation Day gives us an opportunity to reflect on these powerful truths of scriptures and share those truths with others. You know, um, it's a chance to celebrate the freedom that we have in Christ and in light, in a light that, that guides us through life's uncertainties. So in summary, <laughs> you know, we, uh, the contrast between Halloween and Refor Day, Reformation Day is significant and, and worth considering. You know, Halloween embodies darkness and fear, guys. You know, while the Reformation Day celebrates light and of the gospel and the truth that found in God's word, right? As believers, we should choose to engage in celebrations that uplift and inspire us, reminding uh, ourselves uh, and those around us of the hope and assurance that we have in Christ. Let's celebrate light, uphold the biblical truth, and stand firm against the darkness that surrounds us. And in doing so, we honor the legacy of the Reformation and affirm our commitment to living as children of God. So as we navigate the cultural landscape surrounding celebrations like Halloween, it's crucial for the church to provide practical applications to encourage families to prioritize celebrations that honor God and reflect his truths. And one way in doing so is by emphasizing the importance of Reformation Day. This day is not just a historical event, it's an opportunity to celebrate the core tenets of our faith, you know, and, and in light of the gospel and emerge that has emerged from the Reformation. Families can engage in, in discussions about the significance of the Reformation, teaching their children about figures like Martin Luther and John Calvin, right, and, and, and the vital truths that they, that they championed, right? And, and encouraging families to commemorate this day with activities that reflect biblical principles, but also instills, but uh, it often instills a deeper understanding of their faith. To further engage uh, the community, churches can host events that educates about Reform about the Reformation and its significance. You know, uh, they can they could range from church services that including teaching of the moments focused on scripture and family friendly events that incorporate games and discussions and activities and highlighting the importance of the Reformation. For example, Reformation Festival could feature uh, reenactments of key moments of the Reformation. Right. For example, uh, uh, you know, key moments of the Reformation, craft stations for kids, you know, to celebrate the 95 Thesis, discussions, panels for adults to dive deeper into the theological topics, right? By creating fun and educational atmosphere, you know, churches, you know, can help families connect with their faith in a meaningful way. You know, making Reformation Day not only just an observant, but a celebration of the truth that reinforces the foundations of our faith. And our and our beliefs. So, engaging in spiritual warfare is another practical application for the church as we consider our approach to celebrations like Halloween. In Second Corinthians ten verses three through five, reminds us: "Is for we walk, we for we walk in the flesh, but we are not waging war. Uh, uh, we are not waging war according to the flesh." So, you know, the, this verse speaks to the reality of battles are not merely physical, but of, of a spiritual nature. Rejecting Halloween's associations is not just about avoiding a holiday. It's about a broader call, right, uh, to engage in spiritual warfare. You know, we're called to stand firm in our faith and resist the cultural tides that seek to pull us away from the truth of God's word. You know, th this means by being vigilant about 
what we allow into our lives and our homes, right? Ensuring that we are not participating in festivities that glorify evil, darkness, and fear. You know, in context, the churches can equip their congregations with tools and resources to help them understand the spiritual implications of their choices. You know, that this might involve sermons that address the spirit, the nature of spiritual warfare, you know, uh, providing practical guidance on how to engage in prayer, study scripture, and fostering a strong community that encourages one another to stand firm in their faith. Encouraging congregants to pray for, you know, discernment and wisdom as they navigate the cultural celebrations and that can help them make an informed decision that align with their Christian values. So creating uh, uh, spaces, you know, for open dialogue about the issue, about this issue can, can foster a sense of community and support, you know, hosting discussion groups and, or workshops that explore the historical and spiritual significance, you know, of, of these celebrations can empower the congregants to show their thoughts and explanations, creating a united front against the, the cultural uh, pressures that encourage fear and darkness, you know, and, and by equipping families and individuals with the knowledge and, and, and support their needs, you know, uh, the church can play a vital role, uh, in, uh, guiding and equipping these members towards celebrating truth and light, uh, in a world that often embraces the complete opposite. Ultimately, uh, choosing biblical celebrations and engaging in spiritual warfare go hand in hand, right? As families prioritize God in, in, in their celebrations, they can celebrate a culture of light and hope, right? In doing so, they may not, they may not only strengthen their own faith, but also serve as a testimony for others in their community, right? By, by taking a stand against the influences of Halloween uh, and instead, you know, celebrating days like Reformation Day, you know, we fulfill our calling as a body of Christ to shine as the light in the dark. We're in a dark world, you know, uh, helping others to see the hope and truth found in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Together, let's commit to choosing these celebrations to glorify God and remind ourselves the victory that we have in him. So. Um, so understanding the contrast between, you know, the celebrations like Halloween and Reformation Day offers insights into the heart of the gospel of Jesus Christ at its core. You know, the gospel is about light overcoming darkness, truth, triumphing over falsehood. Uh, and a life and 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 a life replacing death. Halloween, is, is, with its theme of fear and the supernatural and the occult, right, uh, uh, often draws people into a celebration that can distract them from the hope and assurance that they found in Christ. It's a reminder of of uh, to us of the reality of spiritual darkness and and the very real battles uh, we face as believers, but. This backdrop can serve to highlight the brilliance of the gospel. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ came to be the light of the world, shining brightness in the shining brightly uh, in the midst of that darkness. Reformation Day, on the other hand, celebrates uh, the biblical truth uh, and the message of salvation through faith in Christ alone. It, it is a, a moment uh, that emphasizes the centrality of Scripture grace and the su su sufficiency of Christ's sacrifice. This return to essential uh, is essentials of the faith aligns perfectly with the gospel message, which tells us that Jesus through his death and resurrection conquered sin and death. And just as Martin Luther sought to bring clarity uh, and truth back to the church, the gospel calls us to reject those that uh, 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 reject to reject the lies and fears of the world and embrace the freedom and cope that we have in Christ. So as, as we celebrate Reformation Day, let's be reminded that uh, the gospel is not just a historical narrative, right? It's a living truth that continues to transform lives in our daily in, in, in our daily walk. 
All right. It invites us to live the, in the light of Christ, which not only dispels darkness around us, but also ignites a fire within us to, to share the light with others, to share the light of Jesus with others. Right. This, the, the assurance of salvation, um, the, the promise of eternal life and power just uh, empowers us to stand firm against against the cultural tides. Uh, that seek to draw us away from faith. So ultimately, uh, uh, trying these celebrations, uh, tying these celebrations back to the gospel underscores our mission as believers. We are to we are called to be ambassadors of Christ, and sharing uh, His uh, uh, light in a world that's cap captivated by fear and darkness. But by choosing to celebrate Reformation Day, we not merely observing just an historical event. We are reaffirming our commitment to the truths of the gospel and our desires to live out our faith every, in every aspect of our lives. And in doing so, we reflect the hope and grace and love that we find in Jesus in all things, uh, uh, inviting others into uh, the light of uh, his saving grace. Amen. So as we wrap up our discussion, you know, uh, um, and and on the significance of Reformation Day versus Halloween, you know, it's important to take a moment of reflection. Now, uh, we live in a culture filled with countless celebrations, each carrying its own message and meanings. But what what we choose to celebrate often reveals not just our preferences, but also our values and beliefs. You know, you you send you send through. Uh, uh, the celebrations and you and that that you engage in, right? Um, you know, are we are approaching? Uh, are we approaching? Uh, uh, promoting? Excuse me. Are we promoting fear and darkness by participating in events like Halloween, right? Or are we embracing the opportunities shared and celebrated in the life of life of the gospel uh, through events like Reformation Day? Celebrating Reformation Day is more than just remembering the historical events. It's a call to dive deeper into scripture, you know, recon, uh, recognizing the incredible legacy that has left, uh, le uh, that, that was left to us uh, who fought for the rights to understand God's words. It's an invitation to grow in our faith and ensure that we are firmly rooted in biblical truths and defi defined our beliefs. And by focusing on the core tenets of faith, you know, we strengthen our relationship with God and equip ourselves to engage in meaningful conversations um, with those around us. You know, it's essential for us to recognize, you know, that our understanding of God's word shapes our worldview and ultimately influences the way that we navigate through life's challenges. So embracing Reformation Day uh, also offers, offer, offers us a unique opportunity to share that truth with others in the light of uh, the world that often celebrates fear and darkness. You know, we have a chance to stand out as beacons of light, guys, you know, and and, and whether it's it's through our conversation with our friends, family or gatherings or, or even community events. Let's take the initiative to discuss the significance of this day and, and the hope that we have found in the gospel. Right. Let's share stories of, of reformers and their courage to stand up to truth highlighting their own commitment to scripture so you know it, it, you know and and it changed the course of history christian history and continues to impact our faith today but by doing so we're not merely uh honoring a legacy their legacy but we also inspire others to seek truth in the light of the faith of the gospel so as we sit on uh, Reformation Day. Let's also consider how to celebrate in our homes and in our churches. Uh, perhaps you could host a small gathering, uh, family dinner, whatever, right? To reflect on the principles of Reformation Day. Share testimonies, even enjoy fest uh, festive treat uh, treats that align uh, with the themes of the day, right? This can be an excellent opportunity for families to engage in discussions about their faith history and the importance of standing firm in, the, in, in truth. And in doing so, you know, you're not merely create a sense of, of community, but also build a better culture that prioritizes celebrating God's light and the truth. Amen. All right. So let's, uh, let's commit prayerfully 
uh, considering how we engage in cultural celebrations around us. You know, ask God for wisdom and discernment and you know, how to navigate the, these choices and seek to uplift others through our discussions. You know, are we uh, there to, are, are, are there ways where, um, uh, man, I just lost where I was. Uh, anyway, um, you know, ask God for discernment to navigate these choices and uplift others in, 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 in your, in your decision and your discussions, right? You know, are, are there ways to participate in community events without compromising our beliefs? I believe so. You know, uh, are there any alternative celebrations you can embrace that reflects a light of, of Christ? I've been to a lot of trunk or treats. I don't think those are, are biblically accurate either. So in, in uh, our conscious effort to reflect on the celebrations and their, you know, uh, implications, let us choose to embrace Reformation Day, right? Uh, a day that's not only remembrance for its, you know, for its significant history in, in Christian uh, history, but as a chance to deepen our faith and share the light with others, right? So as we stand firm in God's word, you know, uh, let's be empowered to live out our beliefs boldly. You know, God's, you know, God's celebrate, you know, uh, it, it, you know, showcasing, well, and showcasing the hope and truth that, that Jesus brings into our lives, guys. Right. Um, let's be empowered by, to, you know, to, to live out our beliefs boldly, you know, showcasing the hope and truth that Jesus brings into our lives. Together, we can be a community that honors God, celebrates his truth and impacts those around us with the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So let's take action. Right. Uh, reflect on our practices that embrace the incredible opportunity that the Reformation Day uh presents for growth and sharing the power of God's word. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap this up, man. So before I let you go, man, go check out uh, my tactical Bible guy website. Uh, it does have the saved and uncensored link up there. So you can check out what, what, what we're doing and what, and who, what I'm about. Um, you know, you can guys check us out on our, on our YouTube and Facebook book, uh, Facebook groups. Uh, you know, all you got to do is search for tactical Bible guy and tactical Bible fellowship and, uh, you know, also, you know, be sure to follow us on True Social, Rumble, and Patreon. And by subscribing uh, uh, and following and liking the content and sharing the content, you know, you help us expand our reach to share the gospel message more effectively. And don't forget to check us out on our podcasting channels. You know, Tactical Bible Guys, Tactical Bible Fellowship. We're on Apple, Spotify, Amazon. Uh, CastBox, Deezer, and iHeartRadio, and wherever you can listen to your podcast, you know, um, and uh, that's really about it. Guys, if you guys would like to donate uh, money, use this code here, this QR code. You can grab that with your camera and make a donation and make it, it takes us to your Tactical Bible Guy website. And then, you know, you look for our PayPal link and you can donate that way. And guys, if you donate financially, please leave your your email address so we can send you a tax deductible receipt for your, your, your taxes, uh, your taxes. And that's it today, guys. You know, I want to thank you guys for being here and allowing me to, sh to share this topic with you. You know, uh, let's can con continue our time with, with a closing prayer, you know, seeking God's guidance and strength and, and apply these truths in all our lives. Heavenly father, as we conclude our time, we become before you with grateful hearts, you know, thankful for your truth, uh, of your word and for the light of the gospel that guides our lives, Lord. You know, um, we pray that as we reflect on the importance of Reformation Day, it is, uh, it would be, uh, you would be deepening our faith and understanding uh, of your teachings and ignite the passions within us to share your, your truths. Lord, help us be discerning of our choices and, and seek celebrations that honor you. You know, may we stand firm against the darkness of this world, shining your light in every aspect of our lives. Lord, we ask, Lord, for your wisdom and guidance as we navigate the cultural tides around us, empower, uh, empowering us uh, to be bold witnesses to the, your faith in God. Uh, our, yeah, and, and we lift up those who might be struggling with fear and uncertainty, you know, asking for your patience, 
and your peace that would surround them, you know, and let our lives reflect on the hope and assurance that we have in you, inspiring us, you know, and others to, to live out this and to seek this truth. Uh, and, in, uh, you know, of the word, thank you for the opportunity to gather in your name. And may we carry the message of the gospel as we go forth today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Guys, go in peace today. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow uh, with the morning Bible study. God bless you guys.